Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Do you, do you ever like think, hey, if I could go back in a time machine, I would change this thing or that thing? You know, do, do those thoughts? No, okay. not at all. Um, not at all. I mean, because you know that that's going to change the course of where I'm at today. If I mm-hmm. were to change something like that, who who keeps it from me had been the successful, you know, NFL player that, you know, could have gotten into drugs or or been drinking and driving one out on my fast car and killed somebody mm-hmm. or yeah, you know, just to be at one hundred percent. Yeah, you could shoot be- yourself in the leg in a club or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, yeah. and honestly, I'm happy and content where I'm at today. So, mm-hmm. um, no, I, I honestly don't. I, I don't. I don't ever want to do that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm sure people have a lot of questions. The, the other thing I wanted to uh, maybe get into before we get into other stuff here. How did all of that uh, wind up with you getting into the gun world? I know you said you, you got into powerlifting, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. So how did the gun, did the gun world find you? Did you find the gun world, the gun community? I mean, how did this I, happen? So, I mean, coming from, from Mexico, a country where, you know, guns aren't allowed and not that I ever knew that they weren't, you know, I grew up here in the States and, mm-hmm. you know, I never realized that there was always, um, I was always fascinated by them. My father um, was in the service as well. And, you know, he, he had a few guns around the house and he used to take my brother and I shooting uh, whenever he could. You know, we shoot revolvers and we shoot, um, you know, regular pistols and we shoot a couple of shotguns and stuff here and there. So that was always there. And just being in the military, you know, I, I learned a lot more. I learned how to take it apart, you know, what an AK was, what an AR was. You know, you start learning all these things and you just want to be proficient at your job. So that's kind of what I did. And, you know, after I got out of the army and I was retired, uh, medically retired, and I didn't have a, a job for a couple of years, I, um, you know, I found myself building ARs. I found myself um, putting a bunch of guns together and going out and shooting and, and just kind of um, exercising my Second Amendment and just, you know, doing what I loved and which was weapons. And that's kind of where it was. And then the world kind of met me and I met social media and it was just one of those things where I came in and it's just exploded. Like people um, were very welcoming. People were super awesome to me. And, uh, you know, I loved it. It was, it was pretty cool to experience that just being a kid from no, nowhere uh, to being, you know, welcome into the, into the gun community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you definitely, you definitely have a lot of uh, friends out there. You know, we've seen you in a couple of uh, controversies, I guess we could say. <laughs> uh, I know. I know there was something that happened with Trump. Where was this? Uh, I'm going to pull up this article here. Wait, wait, what did I do with this? Because there was an article that I found that says uh, here. I'm going to share it with everyone on the on the screen here in a second. Uh, here, let's get this. Uh, is that the one with uh, me and Junior? Yeah, it's well. This one I think is in heavy. Uh, this was on heavy. I found this on heavy.com. It says Omar Crispy Avila. Five fast facts you need to know. They have a oh, book. damn, I didn't even know what that one was. You have your own five fast facts. That's a, that's this a pretty great. good deal. Yeah, that's freaking awesome. I didn't awesome. know that existed. No? <laughs> oh. I, so, the, uh, and the first thing in there is the picture of you and Trump Jr. But I guess, so for some reason, um, Instagram took this picture down. What's the what's the story with that? Yeah, so this was at the NRA. Um, Jr. has always been a, 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 a really good supportive uh, person he's always been interested in my story so we we met each other uh i want to say the, at the on at the nra in dallas is where we in dallas, we originally okay. met yeah, yeah where we met for the first time and you know he's like hey man give me a call sometime let's stay together you know let, let's keep me in touch and it's just super down to earth real positive person he's yeah like, and think, he's a you know, for real gun guy in the trump family i think there's a couple of people but but junior is the like hardcore more open gun guy. Yeah. about it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, so, I've seen him at all these shows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we, you know, we sat there, we were talking about um, like long distance shooting, and you know, he was asking me a couple questions, and we were going back and forward, and we were just kind of analyzing different rounds that were coming out, and 
you know, I think at the time the the what was it, the two twenty four Valkyrie had just released. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. him and I were were talking about specs about that and, and you know and then and, and how to make it a very precise round. And um so we had that that in common, uh, along with we share the, the same um uh beliefs and whatnot. So we, we hit it off really fast, um, just started hanging out and and, and it built up to that. So we were at NRA. Uh, fast forward to what was it? Is it uh, Indiana? I believe this was. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see yeah, this picture. If there's a credit on this one, I know it has seventy four thousand likes. <laughs> it might have been in Indiana. I think that's what it was. Uh, Indi- um, okay. It was in Indiana. See. So we ended up going to Indiana. Uh, so he texted me that morning and he said, "Hey, you want to grab coffee before we go into the show?" Oh yeah, it's He's Indiana. Like, let's catch- mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was like, "All right, let's catch up, brother." So. We ended up meeting at the uh, at the hotel that we were both staying in. Uh, we had a cup of coffee. You know, we chatted. We talked a little more about guns. We talked about, hey, possibly going hunting together. And, um, you know, then we took a picture. He went a- a- about his way. And, and then uh, that was the last day of the NRA. So I went down, walked around, met with a bunch of people, you know, and, and hung out. And then I flew home. And when I got on the plane, I shared that picture. So I was like, you know, it was very, very blunt, like, message. It had nothing to do with being political. I, I wasn't pushing any agenda, anything. All I said was, hey, brother, it was good catching up with you. Thank you for taking the time out of your day and hanging out and actually catching up. Uh, have a good one. That was yeah. it. There was yeah, it's no... a pretty boring, you know, I'm not, I, I don't, like, there was no, you didn't have, like, two machine guns. <laughs> No, no, yeah, it was like, a pretty, well, pretty boring picture. It was just yeah. him and I and, and just acknowledging the person that he is. And and honestly, that was it, man. That was it. And uh, so I posted that picture. I got on the flight uh, and flew home. When I landed here in Austin, Texas, um, I opened up my phone and, you know, just to – we were on the on the runway. And I opened up the phone and I was like – I got a message right away. And, and you know, I, it was – Kind of my mistake because I should have taken a picture of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it said, you know, you violated Instagram terms. You know, X picture was taken down. And, and here I am thinking like, oh, was it a gun picture? Was it a hunting picture? Like, what was it that got taken down? Yeah. <laughs> that was like, you know, and, and I went and I opened up my Instagram and I'm trying to look. And the first thing that caught my eye, I was like, wait a minute. The picture of Junior and I is gone. Like. Was that it? And, and sure enough, that's what it was. They had taken down that picture because of that. And, uh, you know, I, re- I I then later on grabbed it and I said, all right, um, since Instagram wants to take this down, let's give this another try. And I posted it. And I uh, I told Junior, like, and Junior reached out to me and he's like, are you are you effing kidding me? They they took that picture down. And I'm like, yeah, man. Like, you know, they, they did. I wish I would have gotten a picture of it. Where it said that uh, that um, you violated the terms, mm-hmm. the terms or whatever, and yeah. I wish I could show it to you. And he's like, "You don't need to show me that. I believe you." He's like, "I don't. You're not the type that would do this for, um, you know, attention or anything." And I was like, "I'm. I'm I was like, 100. I'm really not that dude. Like, <laughs> I it was strange that this picture is gone. You know, like mm-hmm. it. It's gone. And yeah. And he's like, that's, "That's so messed up." And He's like, uh, he's like, all right, man. So I'm gonna repost it, and I was like, okay, whatever you like. So he reposted it, and then next thing you know, a, a bunch of people started calling me. Like, was it Breitbart or whatever they're called? Oh, they they got in on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they were the. I don't know how the hell they got my number, but they called me. Uh, they'll find you. <laughs> oh yeah. So I was like, hello, and they're like, yeah, hey, we're so and so. Like, we like to talk to you, and I was like, yeah, I man, I'll, I'll talk to you guys. I'll tell you what happened, and I mm-hmm. did. I told them what had happened, and. You know, they're like, you mind if we write an article and quote you on it and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, not at all. You know, do what you got to do and, and, and put it out there. And they did. They um, they wrote the article. They put it out there. Next thing you know, you know, I wasn't really thinking anything of it. I didn't think it was going to go anywhere. Like, I wasn't expecting this to blow up the way that it did. But it did. And next thing you know, like, so many news outlets are sharing it. It's all over the place. <laughs> like um next thing you know i'm you know uh joe rogan is is a mutual friend and you know he's talking about me on his podcast and it's just exploded i mean Mm -hmm. every single every single paper that you get or or publication out there that's available Mm -hmm. had put it out and i was just like oh okay and it just spread like wildfire man it was crazy so this was like the first like viral moment for you it wasn't all the other stuff that you did 
that ever went. No, this no, crazy. no, not at all. This no, this one thing you took a picture with with Trump that 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 was your violation. You can't post Trump yeah, pictures. Yeah, I mean that was the violation on Instagram, and or, this is just yeah. another one. Or or that. Trump can't be in a picture next to a you know a person of color here. You know, I mean you know <laughs> it, it, it's it's, a, it's absurd. It's what it was. It right. was uh, you know, and then then Instagram came out and denied um, Jamie, who's you know does all this stuff for Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he's like, Hey man, I tried to reach out to Instagram and they said that they didn't do it, that, you know, it could have been you, that you, maybe you disactivated your account. And when you activate it again, the picture was gone, but come on, realistically, why would I delete my account? Like, Mm -hmm. you know, this is, this is no, who deletes your account on social media other than they don't ever want to come back. And I delete it for three hours to come back like that. No. And you can't Um, accidentally do that either. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Yeah. Uh, so like Joe hmm. defended me and, and you know, it was all that good stuff. And, uh, it, it just, it was crazy, man. Yeah. It was crazy. Let that be a lesson to you. Anytime you get, like, I got that message recently. Every time I like, if, so when you log in to Instagram and they do something like that to you, that'll be the first thing you got to screen capture it because yep. they always scream innocent. <laughs> they always there, do this. You, that or you can do what I do now, man. I honestly don't give a flying F anymore. Like, mm-hmm. I don't care what they take down or they don't. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, it, it is their platform that belongs to them, and mm-hmm. I'm using it, and I just don't care. Like, if they delete it, oh, well, whatever. It, it just doesn't bother me anymore. Like, you know, a lot of people get, get worked up uh, about, oh, being shadow banned or, or or people not seeing their stuff anymore. I just, I've gotten over it. I really don't care anymore. Like, that's mm-hmm. to the point where, like, you know what, whatever. I'm using their platform, and... If, if that's what they want to do, then that's fine with me. I don't, I don't care. Like, do what you got to do. Like, mm-hmm. it, it's fine. Yeah. I don't. Know. So, I, what would oh. you? So, along those lines, what would you do if one day you woke up and uh, Instagram deplatformed you? I think that's your biggest, your 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 biggest uh, social media that you use, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. the most followers. Yeah. I mean, I think um, on. We, we do a lot of stuff on YouTube as well, but we're not that big. We've mm-hmm. probably got like 30,000 subscribers. I mean, it's not that big. Yeah. Uh, By the way, everyone out there should be uh, going and following Crispy. It's a Crispy 11B. You even got the check mark, man. You got the... <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's see here. I'm trying to... Is my phone not connected? My phone must not be connected to this thing. I'm trying to, to pull it up. Let me see if my phone... Yeah, for some reason, my phone's not actually popping up on here but yeah it's crispy 11b right for anyone out there who wants to know uh yeah like i said i can't for some reason for some reason they will not let me pull my phone up on here which i don't know why (laughs) but uh we'll we'll make we'll figure out a way of getting it to work here um yeah, so hold on a second. Let me see. Go back Go back to the screen. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so um, that's the biggest one, right? Do you have backups? Do you have alternatives? Nope. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, think you're on tw- I think you're on Twitter, right? But you don't really use that. Uh, no, again, that's another one of those where like, we're mm-hmm. probably like 14,000, 15,000 followers, and I don't understand Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't get it. They're so mm-hmm. retweeting and sharing stuff, and like, mm-hmm. but I don't get it. But, anyways, yeah, uh, Instagram is the most, the most, the one that I use the most, and mm-hmm. and where I, I post a lot more. But and and I'll be honest with you, man. If the day ever comes where they're like, "Hey, we're deplatforming you," that's that's the end of me that you'll ever see. I, I'll never make another one. I won't do it. I mean, um, but I don't see that happening. I mean, obviously, as you can see, they they verified me so i don't think that would ever happen just because i've been verified but you mm-hmm. never know and i again man to be honest with you i, I wouldn't care mm-hmm. I, I know i've seen a lot of guys that get you know the platform and they make the huge deal and they're crying and they're doing all this stuff and they you know go all against instagram and all this other crap i'm, I'm to the point where like if it happens you know what whatever they have the reason yeah. I mean, it's their platform they're the ones that spend millions of dollars on servers if that's what they want to do that's fine with me yeah I mean, you've gone through some more serious <laughs> than that, so. <laughs> you know, I so, think I mean, there's a lot. There, there's more. The worst thing in your world is not being deplatformed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and not only that. I mean, it's not mm-hmm. the worst thing in the world. If you get mm-hmm. deplatformed, who cares? I mean, there's literally people getting murdered. There's people getting raped. There's people being used 
uh, every single day. They have it far worse than we do. And yet we tend, I'm going to sit here and complain about social media. No, not, mm-hmm. not going to happen. I, mm-hmm. I think I have my perspectives in life very, very set. And, and you know, at the end of the day, this is, I, I don't care. Yeah, I respect it. I'm going to cry like a big baby. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make videos. I'm gonna put on a blonde wig. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna go all out. <laughs> Get really dramatic. But I respect I respect your position. I respect your position. No, I understand. Make sure to check out Hankstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.